Welcome to Busy Minds Tutorials and Entertainment. So the first thing is to type in HardMob into your web browser and click search. This is the first result, uh, search result. So click on this first search result. Click on Get Started. This is the email I'll be using to sign up with AdMob. So click on it. Google will ask for your password. Put your password. Then click on Sign In with Current Account. This is AdMob home page. You screw this page up to find the button called Hard Hub. Click on Hard Hub. Click on no, you have not published your app on Google Play or App Store. Type in the name of your app on this area, click and type in, then click, check this Android button, then come down and click on add. Now let's create our advert units now that we have added our app. So click select this select button to add banner advert unit first. So this is the area you will type banner, type in banner here. You see, have type in banner here, then click create hard unit. So let's create the next one. Create another hard unit, which is interstitia. Click it. Type in interstitia here. Then when this button turns blue, click on it. We have created the two advert units now. now click done. These are the two advert units. We want to copy them now into Sketch Well, First, we have to copy banner first. So click this icon to copy banner advert unit code. So we have copied it. Now we are we have left uh, AdMob. We, we are going to Sketchway now. So we click on Sketchway to launch it. Sketchway is opening now. Sketchway has opened. So click on this plus sign to create a new app or new project. So this our project has opened. The first thing you want to do is to add, to enable AdMob. So click this icon to enable AdMob in Sketchway. So now after clicking that, you click Library. I click AdMob. After that, you click this area here to choose an email address you want to use with Sketchware. So click this button to watch a video so that you can gain access to AdMob after watching the video. So the video has finished playing. So now you click on this plus sign. You type in banner here. Then you press and hold to paste that code you copied from AdMob, which is the advert, the banner, the banner advert code. This is it. This is banner. So you click hard. So you click it again to add interstitial, but first you go to add more copy interstitial code, come down here, paste the interstitial advert code, then type interstitial, then click add here. Now that we've done this, we've added the two banner, the banner interstitial, click next, then click on edit. We want to link the, the advert code now. So check this button, then click next, and click on select. Click this edit button. Then check this uh, button here, then click select. So you'll see a button called next here. You can click the next button to leave here. We are done here. Then you click this button to add your device ID. Google wants to know the, the ID of your device so that they will not show. So this is my device ID. Yours will appear. So you click hard. Google wants to know this. So you click next. Google wants to know so that they will not show really hard that when you install the app on your device that you used to, to, to create the app or used to configure the app mode. So you click save here. Just click save. So the first thing you want to do here is to come down to this add view, click on it and drag it inside here. Place it here. So you can see whenever you drag anything here, a drawer will come up from here. Look at the drawer. It will come up. So now that we have this, let's click on components. So you click on component, then come down to click this plus sign. After that, you click on interstitia hard. Then you type in uh, add mob here, then you click hard. After typing add mob, then you click hard. Now click here, click on this, just click it. Then you click on this on add loaded, click on it. Then you come down to click this icon. Then first thing, you click components. Then you screw this area up, screw this area up. We want to look for what we call interstitial shoe. So you press it down and drag it under this, under here. So you can see it. So click this downward black arrow, click on it. This one will come up, then check this and click select. 
So you use this arrow to go back. We are done here. Then you click on this one. You click on this icon. You click on component as well again. You hold down, press down this toast and drag it under here. Then the next thing you want to do is to click operator. Then you screw this area. We are looking for what is called join and you screw this area up. So this is join on. Press it down and drag it and drop it inside here. So we have dropped it inside. So click inside here. We want to type in something here. Click it. So this is what we will type in add load fail error here. So type add load fail error. When there is there's, your advert cannot load, this error will come up. So click save there. Then press this down, this one, drag it inside here. After drag it, then you bring this one and drag it inside here too. You can see I've dragged the error code inside here. So we are done. So you click your back arrow to come here. Then you click event. We have click events. Then you click on on create. Click on it. Just click on it. Now here you click this icon. So the first thing you want to do is to is to click on view. So you screw this area up, screw it up. You press down on add view load, press it down and drag it here. Then you press this arrow here, downward arrow, press, click it. Then you check this button and you click select. Click select. Start checking it. Then you, you click this um, icon again, come to component. You look for load, press this down, create this interstitial create, press it and drag it here under this one, then click this place, this arrow, then check this button, then click select. So the last one is to drag load, interstitial load, drag it under here, press it and drag it, you can see it, interstitial load. Click this place, check this button, then you click select. So that is all we need for now. So you click this back arrow. You click this button to save your work. We have saved it. After saving your work, you click the back, this back arrow to come to this home view, then click run. So we are running our this thing and we are compiling our APK file, which is our Android file. So you give it some time to finish. After they will ask you if you want to open with package installer and all that add-on. After, then after that, you click on install. <coughs> so our app has installed. Click on open. So we have installed our app now with the. So this is our app. But well, you need to give some time for the adverts to load. You put on your data. I mean your internet. So the app will come up. The the advert will come up now. Don't worry. Just hold on. Uh -huh. Look at our app. Look at the app and look at the interstitial. You know interstitial will take up the whole of your screen. Well, you are seeing the test advert. And I know you might be wondering, you created the real advert in your hard mobile account, then why is it showing test? That is because you added your test uh, device, you added that your device ID. So Google will not show real advert because they have your test. They don't want you to be clicking it, clicking on um, on the real advert so as to generate illegal or false uh, you know, impression. So that's why they make sure. But if you install this app on somebody else's Android device, this app will show the real one. They will, they will, this test will not appear to show the real one because you use this device to install this and to create the app and you added your device ID. That's why you're seeing this test ID appearing here so that Google don't want you to click it. So this is our banner. That was at the interstitial and this is our banner. So this is how you basically install uh, this in Sketchware. You know, add more advert units. So thank you for watching.